with 9 billion photos under control, PhotoBucket is one of the dominant players in this world, and they just made a deal with Twitter and Apple to get photos all over the place. But I wanted to talk with Tom, the CEO, about what the trends are, and we're gonna hear about that right now. Who are you? My name is Tom Monroe. I'm CEO of PhotoBucket. I've been the CEO of PhotoBucket for about a year and a half now, uh, ever since a spin out from Fox. Yep, and PhotoBucket was uh, the photo service for MySpace, and you have, what, nine billion photos under control? <laughs> we have nine billion photos. Um, we were, the, you know, we actually still do some hosting for MySpace, but if you go back about two and a half, three years ago, you know, we were the, we did the majority of photo hosting for MySpace, which hence the acquisition of PhotoBucket by Fox in 2007. Um, you know, it, we spun out that business in uh, December of 2009. Yeah. So it's been, it's been an interesting transition from being part of a, you know, News Corp Fox company to being independent which you know, has been you know, painful at times, the separation, but you know, beneficial overall as we've been able to now you know, connect to and relate with Facebook and other social media networks out there. Yeah, and clearly MySpace is struggling and continues to struggle, um, and Facebook's become dominant. Now we have Google Plus, and Twitter has continued to be one of the two brands you always hear on TV. And and so tell me a little bit about what's going on with Twitter and, and you guys. Absolutely. Well, what most people don't know is, you know, we have nine billion photos uh, approximately at PhotoBucket right now, and that's photos and videos. Um, but we also, you know, people link those to different websites. So every day we serve over three, sometimes four billion images um, across the, the web to about 2.5, 2.6 million different websites. So we do that on a daily basis. And so, you know, when Twitter was out looking for someone that could scale and, you know, that they could grow with, that they were confident that had that size and ability, it, we were, I, hopefully we were an obvious choice. Yeah, how many data centers do you have? Um, we have two data centers. Yeah, and probably thousands of servers, right? <laughs> you know, it is a fun place to go uh, <laughs> to tour. We do have thousands and thousands of servers. Yeah. The iOS deal that Twitter made with iOS with Apple, mm -hmm. what does that mean to you? Because you you got dragged into that. Yeah, we right? you know hopefully we'll be the beneficiary. So we, you know whether it's the iOS deal, whether it's Twitter opening up their APIs, it should all drive traffic. Um, and so we're excited about that. Yeah. So how do you rebuild your brand so that everybody thinks of you as the premier? photo sharing site on my mobile phone, because you're not just on Apple, you're on uh, Android and Blackberry, right? Yeah, it, exactly. Well, you know, give you a couple of interesting trends in the industry. Um, we're, we're doing about 25 million photos um, from mobile alone every month. Wow. And we've seen that grow, I mean, that's a significant growth from this time last year. Now, a lot of that growth is on iPhone, and we see you know, even a, a magnitude uh, greater than that on Android. Yeah. Um, and that's what I'm hearing. I, it, we're we're doing this interview right after uh, HP killed its uh, web OS and got out of the tablet out of doing tablet with, with the web OS on it. I'm sure they're going to go back to Microsoft or maybe Android. We're going to see what what happens. Maybe this interview will be out of date, but it's really interesting to see that developers like you are in control of this industry, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know if in control is the right word, but actually you know, we're trying to lead and guide the industry, absolutely. And it is by you know, um, having applications that people can use both on mobile devices. And where we like to think of ourselves is we want to be ubiquitous between mobile, web, and consumer electronic devices. And really let people play in any of those knowing their photos are safe and secure. Yeah. You don't d just do photos, right? No, we do videos. Yeah, uh, tell me what's going on in the video world, because I'm noticing my own behavior. I'm doing a lot more video with my iPhone, so is my wife, and so are the people around me. Well, I've seen some of your video posts, so yeah, yeah absolutely. The, um, the, 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 we do a survey semi-annually, and it's interesting. Uh, we, the last survey we did was in July. The results will be released in a week or so. Uh, but we had 2,500 respondents, and half of those said that they take uh, vi uh, mobile v video on their mobile devices at least once a week. Now, the trends that we see are even more than that. I mean, we, we actually see about, um, since January of this year, we've seen a 14x increase in mobile video. Just this year? Just this year. So this is just January to probably mid-August, that number. What does that do to your scalability? Because, uh, you know, 
photos is one thing that's pretty right. tough to deal with but mm -hmm. a video is basically 30 photos a second right and that that turns into a lot more server well, space to, <laughs> it's more bandwidth um, and in more server space um, but you know as the costs come down kind of Moore's law we, we you know that isn't an issue and so you know we uh, right now we offer unlimited photos for all all users for free and up to 500 videos 10 minutes each yeah what makes you different than all the other ways you can get photos because I, I can name probably 15 ways to get photos <laughs> up to the internet from my iPhone you know? <laughs> So what what makes you different than all the other competitors? Well, one of the interesting things is you know the the genesis for the combination of Antella and Photobucket and spinning it out together um, was Antella had some great mobile assets and one of the assets they had they have uh, is the uh, patent for auto upload. So if you take a picture on your device and it's pre-configured to go to a site with credentials and it happens automatically without any manual intervention. Photobucket owns the patent for that. Wow. Are you talking to Google at all about Google Plus? Because I, I love how photos look on Google Plus. It, it's even more, it's become already our, uh, a place for photography. And uh, I'm wondering what, what you're thinking and whether you're trying to talk to Vic over at Google about uh, doing a deal there. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, yes. <laughs> well, it's exciting to see what's going on. Anything else that you're uh, thinking of or planning on coming out with? Well, we've got uh, a couple of things. In, in, uh, back in May, we released our new Stat Bucket application. Uh, we've seen, you know, about. And what does that do? Um, that does filters and effects um, yeah, on photos. And we've, you know, we've had about a million downloads to date. You know, total, we get about, between all of our applications, we get about 20 million unique users in the U.S. every month. And they're doing about 25 million uploads. Yeah. Um, what kind of filters can you do with that? Well, the interesting thing is there's multiple sets. So you can do filter over filter and create oh, your own nice. combinations. That's sort of the interesting thing. The one thing it didn't do fantastic was really the sharing feature. And so the new, um, we have a new release in September that'll have sharing. And then probably in October, we'll add video to that. So you're probably uh, making the Instagram guys uh, stay awake at, at night wondering uh, how to compete with you because you have a lot more users. Well, we have a lot more users and we really like it's permanent. I mean, there's a couple of advantages to Snap Bucket. One, your original isn't destroyed. Yeah. So you, you, you preserve the original and you, you the, both the original and the one you've applied the effects to sit at photo bucket so it's it's permanent it's not instant you know it's it's a longer term look at photos and videos and trying to build that over time versus just the moment are you doing anything on tablets you know because that's where i like to look at photos and maybe even do a little bit of editing there mm -hmm. so we have right now we have an ipad application it, it, I'd, I'd say um, within the next few months you'll see a significant update to that okay. and we're talking to a number of players right now um, about doing um, tabloid apps for them. Interesting. What else uh, would you like to talk about? You know, are you s what are you seeing happen in the industry from your uh, viewpoint? Because you, you get to see everything in the photo world. Right? Yeah. Well, you know, a couple of interesting things. Let's go back to the survey for a minute. Yeah. Um, so, of the 2,500 respondents, um, half of those still have photos online in more than three different places. Yeah. So, it, you know, in some ways it felt like there's been a consolidation, but really not. I mean, they're still in multiple places. And when you look at uh, a, a percentage of those have it in, you know, seven different places. And my guess, if I asked you, you know, if you added all the, the, the places where you yeah. have it on computers, and things, just many different places. Yeah. And so um, what you'll see from Photobucket in the future is really trying to help you consolidate that where it's in one place, no matter what device you've taken it on, what device you want to view it on, but it's always there, it's permanent, it's backed up, you don't have to worry about it. And then it incorporates some of that social experience. You know, so if you, you've taken 100 pictures on your vacation, you, you've, you've commented about five of them, you sent that on Facebook or Google+. Plus. But bringing those in too, so you could have a longer story that isn't just that snippet for you know those three photos. Apple TV and some of the other online TV devices, but mostly Apple TV because of the AirPlay protocol, where I'm on my tablet or on my iPhone and I can click a button and instantly push stuff over to uh, my TV. Are you thinking about how to get photos into the living room and how to use the that kind of? behavior, I guess? Absolutely. And we're talking to a number of manufacturers right now. So those are ongoing discussions which uh, 
we, we expect those to you know, conclude over the next few months. So that might be a trend for the Consumer Electronics Show in January, really about how you guys are uh, moving photos into the home. Absolutely, and I think you'll you'll see something right. <laughs> in January. You gotta give me a reason to yeah. go to Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, we ought to do an interview then because I think we'll have some good things to talk about. Very cool. Thanks for uh, giving me an interview and uh, telling me uh, what what the world of PhotoBuck is all, all about right now. Thanks. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Thanks.